My brother, who's baby, please come here, Baba. I want you to listen to this testimony. It will help you how it works. How many of you remember this, brother? His wife delivered a baby which was only 620 grams. And the baby was only six months, five and a half months. So most of the organs were not even formed. And praise be to God, uh, for more than six months, there were seven months. There was no, no. Uh, my, my wife delivered uh, a baby girl on uh, 22nd March 2010. <coughs> uh, she, uh, the baby got delivered because of the high blood pressure and uh, the baby has been removed uh, uh, through caesarean and uh, the baby's weight was only 620 gram and uh, because of the weight uh, uh, the organs were not developed especially um, the lungs they kept her in a ventilator and uh, incubator machine the which gives uh, the temperature and the ventilator gives uh, uh, support for the baby. And uh, when I saw the baby, she was very tiny, very small, and 620 gram. And uh, definitely there was uh, no hope. What doctors said also, same thing. There was no hope. And uh, you, uh, we just, I mean, uh, we just keep her in a ventilator and incubator. Uh, let's see what happens and they said especially the organs inner organs are still not developed the uh, body has formed but uh, nothing has developed we can't say anything beginning of the 15 days uh, there was an improvement in baby they saw and they said uh, she's improving and immediately after 15 days uh, they found uh, um, uh, pseudomonas kind of a thing in her and they shifted her uh, to the um, a single room where they keep uh, the uh, babies which gets infected because of uh, uh, this virus kind of thing. And uh, they started the antibiotic all those things. And uh, it was continuing and uh, they saw again the baby uh, still in the uh, incubator and they were trying to remove her from the incubator because of the machine she was not uh, uh, increasing her weight. When uh, the weight is not increasing, they cannot shift her to the different wards or uh, they cannot do anything. And uh, doctors tried their level best, one month, two months, three months. We were just praying and praying and uh, we were just ask. We, we never knew about the power in the world. And we were just praying, God please heal her, we used to tell everyone and uh, I used to send emails to all my friends to pray for our baby because uh, it was almost five months, six months and now they found there was some tissues kind of things were developed because of the uh, uh, six months the pipes were there inside and they said we need to do tracheostomy and they opened the uh, neck from here and they took her to Zain hospital here in TNT hospital and uh, they tried to remove the tissues inside and they cleared the tissues but uh, by God's grace they didn't operate her and baby came back to the hospital. She was there in Farwani hospital and uh, after five months, six months again baby was in uh, incubator. They were trying to remove her within one or two hours she was suffering and they again they put back to the oxygen machine. And one fine day we went to a relative's house and uh, we met a person and he said uh, and again I told the whole story any new person I meet I, I just used to tell me and my wife just pray for my baby because she was she was suffering and we, we cannot see uh, uh, our own blood is suffering from six months continuously so that person said uh, there is a brother called Brother John, uh, Johnson, he is coming from India for a retreat and uh, why don't you attend this retreat? So we said fine, we came here and uh, and that day we heard the teaching 
and uh, to uh, the the teaching was ma uh, um, yeah about the fig tree mark 11 23 24 um, if you believe you can move if you have a faith like a mustard tree you can move mountains and uh, if you believe that pray believe that you are already received it we, I used to, me and my wife used to tell the scriptures, uh, believe what, uh, whatever you are praying, believe that you have received it. We used to tell that, but we never used to go for the previous scripture. It says, yeah, if you have faith, then only you can move mountains. And that day was, the uh, whole teaching was about that scriptures. And the end of the uh, class, we met Brother Johnson and he said, why don't you come and meet me next day in uh, Salmiya. He used to. He was there in Brother Paul's house, and next day we went there, and uh, uh, brother to, uh, and we started to tell the whole story. What we used to tell to everyone, same thing we told Brother Johnson, and he said, uh, "Okay, stop, stop. Whatever is happened is happened. Let us speak about the future. What can be done?" And he gave us only one scripture in that book uh, concerning worry and fear, first scripture and the body of Christ and Satan has no power, no place over me. And he said, uh, sit down here and start uh, saying this scripture. And he said, instead of I put your baby's name, our baby's name is Rajesh and we started uh, telling this scripture and he went for a bath and he said, uh, sister to sit, sit with us and we started to speak that scripture and he said, Make an image in your mind that your baby is already healed. And uh, we were telling this scripture to me and my wife for 10 minutes. And uh, I could feel that there is some heaviness moving out from me, from my head. And uh, my wife could see in her imagination that baby is already at home and on the bed. And we and after 10 minutes we went from there. And we met brother and we went from there. And brother said just speak only these scriptures and just thank God that your baby is already healed, your baby is already healed. Thank you Lord for healing my baby and Pranisha is the body of Christ and Satan has no power, no place over him or her. That's it. And uh, next day we went, uh, again we came for the Bible class and we went to the hospital and baby's condition was same, remained same and that was a Friday and uh, uh, Thursday was a class. Again, we went from Friday to the hospital. Baby was same, and we were telling the same scriptures. And again, we went to Saturday. Again, baby was remain same, and we were telling the same scriptures. And Sunday morning, we went to the hospital. Baby was remain on the ventilator. And again, suddenly it came to our mind: pray that uh, doctors will take some action today to remove her from the ventilator. And we started to tell. Uh, Lord, give give the wisdom to the uh, doctors to remove her from the ventilator today itself. And we went to the office because that was the routine we used to do. We used to go to the go to the hospital morning, then go to the office, then again while coming back to the hospital. Then after office, while we are coming, we saw baby was outside the ventilator machine without uh, the oxygen, and she used to take uh, a normal air. And when we spoke to the doctors and he, they said, after seven months, this is the first time she is breathing without ventilator machine and such a long time. Because they removed her in the morning and till the evening she was not suffered and she was continuing without machine. And uh, after three, four days, they, uh, uh, they used to keep a hood, I mean, some oxygen has to come without the machine, but they used to put uh, oxygen pipe outside the... Uh, the ventilator and uh, within a week they shifted her to the ward and within one month she was at home. All, all, glory and, all glory and honor to the Lord who has done this mighty miracle Please, and no, sending no, brother. Oh, 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 oh. I want to ask you one thing. Uh, when you were saying that scripture that your baby is already healed, what did your senses say? Sense was telling, see, after eight months, after seven months, if you're, if a person coming and telling you 
that uh, your uh, baby is uh, healed, how you, you can believe that? You, you can see the baby again still on the ventilator. Whichever doctor is coming in front of you, he is telling the same thing, there is no hope. And how you can believe that? This is what the sense was the day. So the first day there was no change. No change. Second day no change. No change. Third day no change. Third day morning no change. And evening all change. Yes. Well, this, this is what I want to say to you. When you start believing, renewing your mind, I tell you, your senses will say you are the most foolish person. And I tell you, when I began to speak to them and I said, listen, you only have to imagine and just start saying, and don't even once say that Lord heal my baby. If you say that, you will undo your faith. You will destroy your faith. So keep on only thanking God that your baby is alright. And I tell you, thank God they just believe. Thank God they believe. And they not only believe, they continue to do the same homework continuously for three days. And praise be to God, when they saw, yesterday we learned, we, when the word is planted in the heart, the person goes to sleep at night, yesterday we learned. Yeah? And he gets up in, during the day. The seed grows, sprouts, and grows. And he knows not how. He knows not how. And then comes the ear, the blade, then the ear, and the whole fruit. So after four days they saw the seed had sprouted and they saw the first blade. What was the first blade? Out of the ventilator for the first time. My friend, it's all going to take labor. Did it take some labor? We used to, we used to the whole these three days, we used to tell these scriptures more than thousand times a day and night. And, and you could not see any, any change? Yes. Uh, did it look foolish? And the mind was telling it's foolish. But there was something that had happened in the house. <clears throat> I told him, if you can repeat the scriptures for 10 minutes, by the time I take my bath and I come back, you yourself will experience the power of God in your own body. And before they could leave the house, they had already experienced how the word had worked in their own body. The heaviness was gone and your wife got some healing in her body. For the imagination that baby is already it's gone. gone. So all these things became the first sign in the same way sister now. Continuously, unceasing, keep thanking God and start celebrating and start saying, Oh Lord, I thank you. My husband is completely healed. He is blessed, he is anointed, and he is living a long, healthy life because your word says, I will satisfy you with long life. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we give the Lord a big hand? Come on.
we bless her and we proclaim, O Lord, all your plans and all your purposes that you have for her is manifested in her life. What eyes have not seen, what her ears have not heard, what has not even entered her heart, those things that you have prepared for her, all those things are manifested in her life through the power of your Holy Spirit. We believe it with confession and we shall see it in Jesus' name. And all God's people say, Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you see her preaching the gospel? With your eyes of faith. How many of you believe she is going to sing beautiful uh, lead the worship? Amen. Amen. The local courts are anointed, man. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? How many of you agree to that? Yes. And all those who agree say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. 